Hello my friends, this year on March 16th Microsoft announced an AI productivity tool called Microsoft 365 Copilot. It's integrated in Microsoft 365 apps such as Word, Excel, Outlook, PowerPoint and others. And just by looking at the announcement video, it seems that Copilot can do many awesome things such as quickly transforming written documents into PowerPoint presentations. And once I saw that Copilot can add PowerPoint animations as well, I was really impressed. And since Copilot isn't publicly available yet, I'll do my own version of how Copilot might have created these awesome looking PowerPoint animations. So let's go! And first of all, let me show you my result. As you can see, we're getting that beautiful photo crop animation that we saw on the Copilot animation. And at the same time, on the right side of the slide, we're getting that beautiful text reveal animation. So now, my friends, let me show you how you can create it as well. And by the way, all of these logo animations that you saw in the beginning of this video were created just using PowerPoint animations. And if you would be interested in mastering PowerPoint animations and taking your presentations to the next level, then definitely check out PowerPoint Animation Mastery course, link is in the video description. Ok my friends, and now let's just start with this slide where I have already inserted 4 rectangles. As you can see, these rectangles have different heights just to make this slide a little bit more interesting. And just make sure you have equal gaps between all of these rectangles so that everything is looking well balanced. And here on the right side we have two simple text boxes and the font that I'm using for these guys is called Playfair Display font size 54. Ok my friends, and next we'll have to fill all of these beautiful rectangles with some pictures. And one way to do that is just right click on any of those rectangles, go to Format Shape, go to Fill Options and choosing Picture. But this method won't give us the results that we're looking for and for that reason let me show you one more way how we can fill these rectangles with pictures. So on this slide I have uploaded a couple of photos that we can use, all of these are from Unsplash.com. Super thanks to Unsplash, all of the links are in the video description and I'll just copy this photo on the left side. Let's paste it over here and let's just drag it to the bottom left corner of the slide, just like that. And as well, let's just send this photo to back and now let's make sure that the photo is still selected. Hold down the shift key, select this bottom left uh, rectangle and now let's go to shape format, merge shapes and choose intersect. And skadoosh my friends, this way we have placed a photo inside of that rectangle. And now let's just repeat the same steps for the rest of these rectangles. Once upon a time a wise man said, easy peasy lemon squeezy. And by the way, once you have intersected a photo with your rectangle and if you wish to adjust how your photo looks inside of rectangle, just click on crop and you can move the photo around and adjust how it looks in the cropping area. That's super duper awesome. Ok my friends, so now all of these rectangles have photos inside of them. That's super duper awesome. And now let's just work with these text boxes a little bit. So we actually need to have one more text box. So let me just select this text box. Let's hold down Control shift key to drag a copy in a straight line. And now for this uh, middle text box, let's just change uh, the text, let's type in wonderful and we can as well change the text color to something like this, that's looking beautiful. And now let's just select all of these three beautiful text boxes and let's distribute them vertically so that they have equal gaps between them, just like that. And at the same time we can group all of these guys into a single group and align this group to the middle of this line so that everything is sitting in the middle. And now we can ungroup those text boxes and let's just keep on going. Let's select this top text box and this bottom text box and let's add a solid white fill to these guys. So let's go to Format Shape Options, let's go to Fill, let's go to Solid Fill and let's just pick white. And now it seems that nothing really happened but if I would just zoom out a little bit and grab these two text boxes and move them to the right side as you can see they definitely have that white solid fill. And we need for these text boxes to have a solid fill because later on we'll be hiding that middle text box, ok? And before we continue, let's make sure that we send these two text boxes to front because they will be hiding that uh, text box in the middle, just like that, ok? And for now, let's just undo a couple of steps so that we can see all of the three text boxes and now the slide itself is finished. So now we can duplicate this slide and on the duplicate slide, let's make sure that the move transition is activated. Move transition will do all of the animation magic. And the previous slide can stay on fade transition, it doesn't really matter, but let's make sure that the second slide has the morph transition. And now let's make sure that we're on the first slide and let's just hide that text box in the middle. We can as well turn on the slide guys. And now let's just drag this top text box to the bottom until we touch the middle line of the slide. And for this bottom text box, let's just drag it upwards until that text box in the middle is hidden. That's nice. And now my friends, let's check it out what we have created so far, so we can just go to the next slide. Let's go to transitions and let's just click on this button preview and as you can see we're getting this beautiful text reveal animation all thanks to morph transition. That's nice. 
Okay, my friends, and next let's work with those photos. So let's get back to the previous slide. Let me zoom out a little bit and now let's just select this top left photo and let's go to picture format, let's click on crop and now let's use this bottom cropping handle and let's just move it a little bit outside of the slide, just like this. And now let's do the same for this photo, let's move this cropping handle just outside of the slide, just for a little bit. And for these guys at the bottom, let's do the opposite, let's move the top cropping handle to the bottom of the slide, actually outside of the slide, just for a little bit, just like that. And now my friends, so let's check it out once again, and this time let's just check it out on the full screen. And now as you can see, we're getting that beautiful photo crop animation, and on the right side we have that beautiful text reveal animation. But all of these photos are being animated at the same time, and on the original Copilot animation, I saw that these photos were animated with slight delays. So let me show you how we could achieve that as well. Let's get back to the previous slide where we have these little cropped photos. And to create animation delays with the morph transition, we could just move a couple of these photos further away from the slide, just like that. And by placing all of these photos at different distances from the slide, we should get animation delays. So let's check it out. And if you would notice, this top photo on the right definitely comes in a little bit later than this top photo on the left. And the same goes for these photos at the bottom, so this way we have introduced some animation delays, and that's awesome. Congratulations my friends, now you know how you can create this beautiful photo crop animation together with that text reveal animation on the right, inspired by a Copilot Part 1 animation, and hopefully we can all test out Copilot very soon. And as you have seen in today's video, Part 1 Morph Transition is a truly powerful tool that you can use to create incredible animations for your presentations. And if you'd like to learn more about the Morph Transition, check out this video where I go into more detail about how to use Morph Transition. So, I'll see you there.